What's up guys, Andres from the Strong Family Money Show. Thanks for coming back. On this vlog, we talk about getting your uh, finances, fitness, and fatherhood in check so you can become a better dad for your kids and a better uh, spouse for your partner. So on this episode, we're gonna talk about, um, I have a download that I'll link to this episode. Uh, you send me your email and I'll send this uh, download to you. It is, uh, I made it a while back. Um, it is the 10 reasons, uh, uh, 10 reasons why men should um, lift weights. Uh, so this is, you know, why should you be strong? Why, why should you go to the gym and lift weights? Why is it important for uh, many, many things, right? So uh, we all know it's good for, um, uh, aesthetically it's great, right? You look better in your clothes, right? Everything's great. What uh, what else? What other reasons do you get? What other benefits do you get lifting weights outside of the gym, right? So you have an increased. You can increase your work capacity. So if you and by work I mean any movement that you do doesn't necessarily mean work in you know, physical work. If like you know digging ditches, but that helps also. Um, so you know playing with your kids, you know. If you play a recreational sport, if you are active in general, right, increasing your muscle mass, becoming stronger, um, if you do it a certain way, you can improve your cardiovascular function by lifting weights. Um, but you know, it, over time, uh, what, you know, what going to the gym is, you're doing basically doing work, right? In the old days, right, you didn't go to the gym, you went out and you bailed hay and you, you know, plowed fields. You know that's physical labor. That's that is weight training, and uh, right the um, you know and you hear stories of people uh, getting into construction and they say, well, the first week, right, I couldn't move at all, right, but because I have to, I have to get up and go every day, you know, whatever your, your every day is to uh, work. Over time, I got better. I could do more. I was less tired, right. And I say that you're not tired, but you're less tired. So if you do hard things and make the hard things harder over time, then your other things will seem easier. So your work capacity in, in increases. Um, you strengthen, number two is you strengthen your bones. Um, so the load that you put on your body then makes your bones, the same thing as your, as your muscles, right? Your muscles become bigger because you damage them, right? Um, an extreme case is, you know, you have like these Muay Thai people that kick trees or whatever with their shin. Why? Because it makes, it may makes their shins numb, but it also increases the density of their bone because they're technically making small, tiny cracks in their bone and heals. And your body's like, well, I'm not, I don't want that to happen again. So instead of putting it back 100%, I'm going to put it back, you know, we'll say 101%. And over time, that 1% extra there's a big improvement, right? So your body knows that you're gonna, it doesn't know what you're doing, but it knows that multiple times a week you go somewhere and you do hard work and it hurts and it damages your body in some way. Your body then, because you're resting and as you should with all exercise, you need rest to recuperate so that when you do it again, you're um, able to do it better than the last time. It says, well, I'll, you know, I gotta fix my body in case he does it again, I don't want to feel the same way, so I'm going to build my, you know, myself up, myself up better. So you, you know, not only do your, and your bones don't, your bones don't necessarily get bigger; they get more dense. You know, you cross section a bone, it looks like a sponge; it's porous. Um, so it just makes your bones more dense, and so technically, your the structure in which you have your muscle is is stronger. Um, it improves your sex life. Number three. Um, could possibly be number one, but number three. Um, so you go to the gym, you're, you know, and it does it, it can do it uh, mentally and physiologically. Um, so you go to the gym, you lift weights, you increase your testosterone, you have more muscle, you feel, um, you can send it back to the olden days where you feel like, man, I am, I am the person that should be, um, you know, spreading myself all over the world and what do you do you you, know, you feel uh, invigorated and your sex drive goes up right it could also be that you look better and your partner looks at you 
uh, in that way more often, but um, you know, you just in general feel better about yourself and um, people see you more attractive. So, you know, put one and one together and um, your sex life gets better. Um, it will make you happier for whatever reason. And it could be, you can go into endorphins, you can go into all this stuff, right? When I go to the gym in the morning, and even if you go, you know, I've done it, I've trained for, you know, you know running, right? Uh, even when I play soccer, if I, if I think about it hard enough, I think in morning games, right? You go first thing in the morning, right? You get to the gym. Uh, after you feel, you feel tired, right? Because you um, worked hard in the gym, but you also feel really, really happy. You feel really good about yourself. You accomplished something. You cleared your, cleared your mind and maybe for the most part it's the clearing your mind you're there if you're upset from the day before you go take it out on the weights um but when you leave the gym you are in a better mindset than when you entered the gym um and if you're not then you need to figure out why you're why you're not but you should you should take that time to improve more than just your your body you should use it to clear your head and and you know i do a lot of thinking when i'm in the gym right i don't have a, a partner um so when i'm there i'm listening to you know usually i listen to like a bunch of podcasts but i'm also thinking about you know what happened yesterday why did that happen what can i do to solve this problem that i have right i have uh i have this goal i want to reach what am i going to do right so um use that time wisely so that you can be happier when when you leave uh, like I said before, you look better in your clothes, um, right? Um, you put a t-shirt on, you know, it's tighter up top instead of in the middle. Um, and it's important to look, take care of yourself and look good, right? I was, you know, I by no means am a uh, supermodel or an underwear model, but uh, I at one point was rather large and my shirts were tighter in the gut than they were in the shoulders. And, um, uh, you know, you, um, it doesn't fit the same or as it should. Um, but once you get going in the gym and you, uh, decide, you know, I want to, I want, you know, I want to be strong. Great. You know, bone density. Great. Right. But at the end of the day, it's mostly you go to the gym because you want to look better in general. And, um, you know, most of the time. Um, people see you with your clothes on anyway, right? And so um, that's usually how people are going to tell if you're making improvements and when they compliment you, it makes you feel good. When you put the shirt on and it fits better than it did before. When you tighten your belt and you're one more um, belt notch smaller, you're going to feel great. Um, but, you know, it, it does, you do have benefits other than um, getting, you know, you get muscles, but you can show them off in different ways. And, you know, how your clothes fit is is a big one. Um, you'll burn more calories all the time. Now, this shouldn't be. Um, this is kind of like. Uh, um, so there are multiple ways to lose weight, right? So we think about a pot of um, boiling water or pot of water, right? You want to boil it, right? When we're boiling it, we're burning off calories. So when you are. Um, your diet, right? When you're dieting, this set point is different. But when you're doing the exercise, when you're running, when you're sprinting, when you're lifting weights, you have that flame on high, right? You're using a lot of calories. So when you, the water will boil, you'll, you'll cause more steam, which are, we'll, we'll say are the calories that you're using and you'll, you'll lose weight. You're burning calories at that time, right? And when you lose weight, you burn more calories than you take in, right? There are many camps on that, how um, hormones and what you eat, but you know, the overarching truth is that if you burn more calories than you take in, you will lose weight. Um, if you do something like strength training, where there is damage done to your body from that bout of exercise, you do not turn the fire off. Right, the fire is on simmer, right? So you're just, you know, just hanging out, simmering, uh, until you have um, your body has repaired all the things that you damaged, 
right? Uh, usually that's 24, 48 hours, depending on what you're doing. So if you go three to five times a week, doing the right kind of exercises at the right intensity, you then have multiple bouts of when you have the burner on full blast. Um, if you do on the days you don't go, you have some kind of cardiovascular activity you do, depending on what you're doing, you have the flame up higher. But even on your off days, if you don't do anything because you've done bouts of um, weight training, we can even say sprinting, so high intensity things, you never have the um, fire completely off. Um, and that's important, but that shouldn't give you, that shouldn't be like, it isn't, so if you have a one to 10 fire and the 10 fire is boiling and one fire is you can barely feel it, right? The time, that you're not in the gym if you weight train, you're at a two, right? You're not at a like a six, right? So it doesn't get say, well, I went to the gym and I am in my post-workout oxygen consumption phase, right? So I can go have a burger. And that's not how it works, right? But you can then say, um, the weight loss will be a lot easier if you do weight training because you will be in some sort of constant calorie burning at all times. Um, it reduces your risk of heart attack and this is because one you're losing weight two your mu uh, muscle mass is increasing um, if you're doing it hard enough you have cardiovascular benefits as, as well being in shape in general right you asterisk or caveat yes you should clean up your diet but um, anything that you can do to uh, improves your health is important and they all add up and they all contribute to each other right even your diet you may not think your diet uh, helps you in the gym uh, but that's what fuels you number one um, if you're on a weight loss diet and you lose weight then that is it's like if you squat that's less technically that's less weight you have to squat on your body that it can be transferred to what's on the bar right so if I'm squatting 315 and I weigh 200, right? If I lose 10 pounds, I can then probably say, well, then I can put those 10 pounds on the bar. And if you're doing competitions for powerlifting, that's more important, but it's just, you know, it's less weight that you have to move in general that you're carrying that you can put on the bar to uh, benefit you in other ways, right? So it, you know, it, it's just you're getting healthier and that's what's improving your, your total health uh, in general, right? It improves your balance, right? So um, balance, so when you get older is more important. It's important to take care of all this as young as you can so when you get older you don't have all these issues. So, you know, basically balance, yes, it's your inner ear, we can talk about that, but it's also your musculature and how it carries your body, right? So if your legs just are stronger, your core is stronger, right? If you're carrying something, your upper body is stronger, right? You are, you can then be more, I will say agile, right? You're more balanced. You're able to control your body better because you ha you're in better shape, but mostly because you're using your muscles and you know how they work, right? So if I'm doing like a like a squat, right? Or we'll get technical. If we're doing an overhead squat, I'm doing an overhead squat. Um, if I never done that before, it feels super awkward. There could be a, a time in your life where you've had to do something similar, just in the real world, and it's doesn't turn out well, or it's hard, or it's awkward, right? If in the gym over time you improve that movement, when you then go because basically all movements are the same. Right, all movements that you do in the gym, you do outside the gym. You just do them weighted in the gym, right? So if you improve your movements in the gym, all your movements should be. And that's why all your movements. This is a whole other. All your movements should be real movements, right? Squatting, right? Lunging, hip hinging, all right? Pushing stuff, pulling yourself up. All those things you do in real life, and that's how you should plan your workouts, right? Stuff that is so specific to what you're doing is probably a waste of time for some people, um, because they will never need to use that out of the gym, right? You want to use the gym not to um, 
see what the coolest thing you can do in the gym is you want to use your gym time to improve your life that's why you do it you're using your gym time to improve your life outside of the gym so you improve your balance you walk around better you can carry things you can push things you can pull things right and your body is more in tune with itself and you won't fall you won't trip right you'll be stronger you'll be able to do whatever you want so improves your balance uh you'll sleep better right uh, a few things a few reasons why one you're tired right you're tired you, if you suffer from any kind of like insomnia because uh, you just have so much energy you need to find a way to burn the energy um for me when i was heavier um I, you carry a lot of i carry a lot of weight here in my chest and in my neck right so you know i would basically suffocate myself at night right um my wife says that you know barring when I'm completely exhausted and I snore, um, I don't snore anymore because I don't have all this weight crushing my throat at night. And um, a lot of any and it, bodybuilders in general have this issue, right? It isn't necessarily because they're fat, but just because they have a lot of weight. A lot of bodybuilders, because they're so big, right? They have to use like a, a CPAP machine because they suffer, they suffer from sleep apnea, right? Which is basically what you're always waking up because you're suffocating, right? So you'll, you'll sleep better. Um, you know, it'll increase your testosterone level because you're, you're weight training. Uh, testosterone is used for making muscle and, um, you know, it's the male sex hormone. Um, a lot of men have problems in their later years because of their testosterone drop. I'm not a doctor. I'm just from what I'm reading. Um, but because you are being physical, um, you will improve or increase your testosterone, which in your later years as a man, you know, women go through their hormonal fluctuations later on. Men do exactly the same thing. It just manifests itself in different ways. And you want to do what you can to um, make sure that in your later years, you're as healthy as you can be because you um, want those to be, technically you want those actually to be the most enjoyable, right? Because you plan your whole life to make it there and you don't want it to be, you're constantly sick or you have something you know always going on with your health at the end right all this stuff like so the two takeaways you take away from this all this stuff is you know you do things in the gym to make stuff out of the gym easier and you do things in the gym so that when you get older you're as healthy as you can be um so you can you know live the best years of your life as healthy as you can so i have this as a download i'll put a link in the video if it's not there depending on what platform i put this on some don't let me put links and stuff right shoot me a message on whatever platform you you hear this on and it's just a you know it's just a pdf a pdf that i put together and i can you know email you the link i have it on my google drive i can email you the the link and you can download it uh so you can take a look at it i have a few more details in there um anyway those are the 10 reasons why every dad should be strong my name is andres this is the strong family money show thanks for watching and i will talk to you guys next time